Good evening, everyone. A state agency's multi-million dollar deficit will likely be rolled over to its next budget. The practice has been going on for years now, leading to private lawyers not getting paid for months. News 3 political reporter Jess Garp joins us now in the News Center to explain. Jess? Well, the Joint Finance Committee approved a budget last week that increases money and positions for the Public Defender's Office, but it wasn't enough to keep the agency from running out of money to pay some of their attorneys. Every accused person coming through court has a constitutional right to a lawyer, even if they can't afford one. But the state public defender's office can't handle all the cases. Staff statewide are taking close to 60 percent of the cases that come in, and then we depend upon the private bar for those remaining 40 percent. But now and for the last number of years, there's not enough money to pay those private lawyers. Definitely, I was surprised. Like Shanette Hunter, a legislative staffer who takes public defender cases on the side. She found out Friday she won't be paid until July 1st. Well, definitely it's, uh, you know, income that you were looking forward to, income that you've already earned and you would hope to be paid in a timely fashion. A regional manager for the Public Defender's Office says they see it coming each biennium and got an infusion of $5.4 million in December to stave off the problem. But the agency still has a $3.5 million deficit that will get paid out of next year's budget if it isn't addressed. So we will be basically robbing Peter to pay Paul. We will be expending that money that we will get as of July 1st. Uh, and then the next biennium, you can probably count on two years from now, just as two years ago, um, the same thing happening. Republican state lawmakers say they want to solve the problem and last week put 45 new public defender positions in the budget, along with an increase in eligibility standards, allowing more people to get public defenders. It's my confidence with 45 new lawyers in the public defender's office, they better uh, be able to, to, to serve their clients. That's a, a large appropriation and a very difficult time. But the public defender's office says that's not the answer. We're going to be getting more cases. More people are going to qualify. So um, it's going to get worse. The lawyers say the only solution is more funding for the program. I just think it should be a budget priority um, and that our governor and that they're working with the Department of Administration that they should make it a priority. The Legislative Fiscal Bureau says to fully fund the shortfall and expected costs for the Public Defender's Office over the next two years, lawmakers would have had to fund the program with at least $5.8 million. That's more than $2 million more than the levels the Finance Committee approved. News 3 political reporter Jessica Arp in our News Center. Jess, thanks.